I'm Anna Sam. I will be transforming my look. This is how I normally dress, tomboy, and I want to start dressing more like a woman. I'm going to start with the hair. So I detangled it. It is frizzy. I'm going to part it. Come with me on this journey to transform my look. I use this leave-in like treatment. I get it from Amazon. It like hydrates your hair. What I like to do before I start straightening is I part the one section into two parts and then I will straighten one section first and then I straighten the other section as you'll see in this video and then I will straighten it all together to make sure that all my hair is completely straight. I have a lot of thick wavy slash curly kind of texture hair so I just like to do this step in this process to make sure that I catch every hair on my head. When you're doing your hair and applying heat, remember to always check your ends and cut off the split and dry ends. You can tell if your ends are split because it will literally look like two pieces of hair on one strand at the end. Now I'm taking the part that I straightened and I'm going to tie that up and then do the other section that is curly to make it straight.
now that the one half of my head is straight, what I like to do now is I like to braid this half of my straight hair. I put it in one single braid. The reason I put it in a Dutch braid is because it gives it that straight but also wavy look. So that way I don't have to bring out my curler and put little curls, like little waves into it. The braid does that within itself because it's still hot. After I braid it, I then go and put it in a bun. And the reason for the bun is so that when I straighten my other side of my head, it doesn't pull any hairs from this side that's already straight. Time to move to the other side. Okay, my hair is done. I think I got it all. Let me know in the comments. Did I get it all? Is it still frizzy in the back? I don't know. I can't really see back there. I won't know until I'm editing out this video. <laughs> Let me know and drop a comment. Thank you. Now it's time for my wardrobe. Now usually I wear leggings or jeans or shorts with a t-shirt, graphic tee, plain tee, 
I'm going to try on some dresses. So this is dress number one, simple yellow summer dress. Let me know if you like this dress. Leave a yellow heart in the comment section if you like this simple yellow cute summer dress. This is dress number two. It's a cute little floral pink dress. If you like this one, leave a pink heart and flowers. Now I will be trying to style my hair. And after I do my hair, I will be doing my makeup for you guys. And I'll show you how I will look. And I'll let you know what you guys think about my transformation. So I went with a simple half up, half down type of look. I couldn't get the piece that I wanted in my face the right way, so just forget that. I got my hair going on and it's the little dance. So now we're going to do the face. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup on my face. I've never really been a makeup girl like that, but I do put serum on. Um, and the one that I use is healing and rejuvenating and I got it for Amazon. If you want to know, just hit me up in my comments and I will link it. This is my under eye cream to get rid of my heavy bags that I get. I'm not sleeping well. I got three kids and I work and a husband. So sometimes I don't sleep properly. Um, if you want to know about my under eye cream, I will also link that. If you leave me a comment, I will make sure to link it for you guys if you really want to know. I will be using my Tetris eyeshadow palette, but first remember to always hydrate your lips. I like to use Blistex or Carmex. I will be using two shades for my Tetris palette. So the first shade that I will be using is going to be Game Day. And I'll put that on the base and then I will put Black Friday on it for the corners. I don't like to put a lot of eyeshadow, like I said before, well, I'm not really that big on makeup. Now I will be applying my eyeliner.
after I have put my eyeliner, I like to apply a little bit of mascara. Look how the look came out. I think it's cute and simple. Now I will put some lip. I will go with a red so that way it can make the flower on the dress kind of like pop a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is I take off the excess um, lipstick that's on the tip and then I apply the lipstick so it don't be like too much so I don't look like a clown, you know. Oh, and the red is a soft matte. After I apply the lipstick on my lips, I then use the tip, the point, and use it as a liner. So I don't use a black or brown lip liner. So that way it looks more natural red pop. Next, I will be brushing my eyebrows. I did my eyebrows off camera because I have to be like all close to my vanity to do my eyebrows because I can't do it with my glasses on. So I have to like really see. If you guys want a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, I would make that in a separate, like maybe a short video. So if you would like that, just leave a comment saying eyebrow short. And if you didn't like this video on the way in, make sure you like it on the way out. And don't forget, you can always comment anything you like, but remember to always comment a squirrel and a heart because that is our thing. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now and become part of the Madness Fam. Hey, you're still here. What do you think of my look? Rate it down below. Bye.